Hi there and welcome to another blog handy tutorial on how to embed a blog into your existing website. Today we're looking at Webflow and how you can connect blog handy with Webflow to add a beautiful looking blog to your website. My name is Uwe, I'm the founder of Blog Handy, a simple and fast way to add an SEO optimized blog to your existing website. So let me just get into my Webflow account and I just created a new project. It's a completely empty page for my coffee shop. So let's just quickly add a nav bar. Let's just go to layout and start a library and let's just drag and drop this navigation bar here. And let's say here instead of docs, we want the blog link. But okay, let's first create the second page, which will be the blog page. So let's go here to pages and click here on the top on create new page. Okay, we call it my blog. This is the URL. And let's go all the way down here to the bit where the custom code is. And we want to add the custom code in the final box, which says before body tag, before the end of the body tag. So let's go into our block handy account and take the code snippet step one. Let's just click on the copy button, go back to Webflow and paste it here. And then we can just click here on create. Perfect. So now you see we have a page called my blog and a page called home. So let me quickly go back to the home page, click here on docs and I just changed that into my blog and let's click on it and change that link. Here we go. And you can just put the URL of your blog here or you can click here on pages choose a page, my blog, and that's it. Right. So let's now click on the nav bar and create a component quickly. Nav bar one. And this is just usual Webflow stuff. So we're just setting up this nav bar here we have it on the home page now we go to the blog page so we can add our component drop it here and that's it okay so now back to what we actually wanted to do on the my blog page we now need to add a new container so click on the plus sign to add an element and click on container and just drag it here drop it okay so now we have to go back to Blog Handy. And as you can see here, the second step of the code snippet is a div element with the ID BH posts. So we just copy that, go to Webflow. And here on the right hand side, where you see the ID, you just paste that. So this should say BH minus posts. And that's it for now. Let's click on publish and publish this website to see how it looks. All right, so let's click here to preview it all. Perfect. Here you see your page. Let's go to the home page. That's the empty home page. I can click on my blog. It loads my blog page with the beautiful pop grid layout. And there's one more step to do. Copy this URL with the my blog, go back to blog handy, click on settings and here under general under blog URL, you have to pop in this URL, go all the way down to save all changes, got it. And that's it. For example, let's click on this blog post. It loads nicely on your website. You can click on the back to blog. Now, the beautiful thing with Block Handy is if you want to change from this layout to a different layout, you just go to your settings, you go to layout and settings, and for example, you change to the modern grid. This is one switch you have to flip and it instantly changes your design. 
let's do something else. Maybe you don't want any pictures. One click and that's it. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to leave your questions in the comments below. Have a great day. Bye bye and happy blogging.